All right. I don't even know how to tell this story. Um, this is unbelievable. So just to give a background to people who don't know about this, who are seeing this video without seeing the other videos, um, I've been trying to get this film developed for a couple of years. I've actually had the film for many years. My, my father passed away in 1988. Uh, I found his camera bag at that time. And um, I didn't do anything with it because I really had no interest in it at that time. But to make a very long story short, and I don't want to drag all this out, but, you know, I became a filmmaker years later after being in the music business and living in the theater. I'm still a theater artist too, but I'm a filmmaker. And, you know, obviously cameras are like a huge part of my life now. And um, I went back and I found that film. I wound up using my father's lenses. There were two lenses in the bag. Uh, there was a camera in the bag, but there was this film. And so when I took the camera and the lenses to this guy in Pelham, New York, specialty photo, he said, you should get this developed and, you know, see if there's anything in it. And so I took it somewhere. Uh, I took it to a Walgreens or, you know, some drugstore. And a couple of weeks went by. I didn't hear from them. And I finally got in contact with them. And they said to me, uh, we can't do it. There's nothing there. I'm like, what are you talking about? You can't do it. There's nothing there. Like, is there nothing there? Or are you like, what is that? That didn't make sense. And he said, well, actually, it's a type of film that we can't process. It's called ECN2. And I'm like, what is ECN2? And he said, I don't really know. This was just the guy in the drugstore. So I went all around. I contacted. He finally gave me the number of the lab. And then the lab said it was something called ECN2, which was film that was originally movie film that was, you know, repurposed for photography because they had all this film left over. And I guess it was from the war. Um, I don't know which war, Vietnam, World War II, I have no idea. But it turns out my father had this film. And it's really hard to find anybody who will develop it, who can develop it. So. I went through another place. I was sent to this guy in Scarsdale, New York, and I was told if he can't do it, nobody can do it. Well, he couldn't do it. So then I started this journey, and it turns out that nobody in the country, sorry, a train's going by, nobody in the country could develop this film. Like literally not one place in the United States and I found one place in Canada that could do it. But they said, you know, it would take a year to get it back because they only develop it when they get enough in to go through the process, which I don't know how this process is that crazy. But anyway, then I found a place in like, I think it was Arkansas, and they kept putting me off literally for a year. Like, oh, we're getting this machine in and we're getting all these chemicals and we're definitely going to do it. Call back, call back. So I kept calling back, I kept calling back. And so eventually, somebody contacted me here on YouTube. And um, he told me he found a place down in Atlanta. First he told me he found a place in Korea, I think it was. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, I keep forgetting, he keeps correcting me. But anyway, there's a place in Atlanta that does it. So I finally sent it down to Atlanta. And you know, I've made a few videos about this, and this has been this thing, you know, me and my father, we had a complicated relationship and my father was a photographer and I just wanted to know what was on that film you know he passed away 40 years ago not quite 35 years ago so I sent it down to Atlanta I pay for it and now three weeks go by I haven't heard anything from anybody so I finally called them today well, actually, I called a couple of days ago and like no answer and no voicemail, no nothing, you know. And so now I'm thinking I got scammed. 
like it's nobody. I can't even find them on Google. There's no Google search. There's no information on this company, really. And so I'm thinking, oh my God, I just paid for this thing and I just got ripped off. And not only that, but I mailed the, the film to somebody and it's headed nowhere. And it's just, that's it. That's the end of the story. So anyway, I decided to try again today because, I don't know, it's about a month since I sent it to them and finally somebody answered the phone. And um, I spoke to this woman and she said to me, oh my God, your badge just came back today. And um, yeah, there's nothing there. I'm like, what are you talking about? She goes, both rolls are empty, they're blank. <laughs> I was like, are you serious? Both rolls are blank after all of that? She said, yeah. And you know, she didn't really know the story, so she was just like, yeah, whatever. You know, you want a credit or you want refund. So then she said to me, I got a letter back from Kodak. You know, there was a note saying that there was nothing there. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Originally, I sent, I dropped the film off at a drugstore in New York. They sent it out to a Kodak lab, and Kodak told them that they can't, they can't do the job. They don't do ECN2 processing. She said, well, the one down here does do ECN processing. They do all of our ECN2 processing, and it's blank. So, you know, I... I don't know what to think about that. I mean, I, I'm not saying that she's lying to me, but given the experience that I already had, it just sounds weird to me, but the journey is over because I mailed them the film. The film is gone. I'm sure when they found out it was blank, they just threw it away. So that's the end of the story, you know, like, after all these years, and specifically the last two years of really focusing on trying to get this done, trying to get it developed, trying to see what my father was shooting, what he was thinking, where his head was at at that moment. You know, did he shoot it in 1988 right before he died, or did he shoot it years before? Like I had no, like I was really looking forward to seeing what was on that film. And so I'd be lying if I told you, you know, that I wasn't really disappointed. So that's it, you know. Sometimes in life, you know, we, you know, endeavor upon a journey, you know, we head someplace, you know, hoping to get to some kind of destination, you know, whether it be a goal or a physical place or whatever, and, you know, that's life. Sometimes you just don't get there, you know. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. Sometimes, you know, you just have to chalk it up to experience and you know, you have to be willing to continue to go and try and do things and take chances and take risks. And, you know, even when it seems like, like a really difficult task, like something that, you know, has so many obstacles and so many things in the way, you just have to keep going, you know, and that's like the metaphor, that's like a metaphor for my life, you know, like, being in the theater, being in music, being in film, being adopted, you know, trying to find information about my biological mother, my biological father, where I'm from, who I'm from, you know, like being lied to about stuff, like all of this, yeah, all of that reminds me of this moment. Because like I was looking forward to it, you know, just like I was, you know, like when I got my original birth certificate finally, after trying to find my birth certificate for my whole life, basically, my whole adult life, so many, they're, they're, like all this stuff was written in ink on it and it was all crossed out and there were all these dates and all these different names and like all these different questions. Like it didn't answer any questions for me. It's just like now, you know, like I don't, I don't get anything. Like I don't get one picture, nothing. You know, I get nothing. That's it. You know, like I just get to talk to some lady on the phone and she's like, yeah, it was blank. And that's it. And that's life. You know? And yeah, it is all about the journey, clearly. 
you know? And some people just never get to the finish line. They never win, you know? I guess the win is in the trying, you know, and the, the attempt, the, the willingness, the, the faith, the leap of faith every day, waking up, trying, you know, making an attempt to have a good day, to accomplish something, to contribute something perhaps. Yeah. So there was nothing there. And that's it. And um, that's the answer. I know there are a lot of people who are waiting to hear what happened, and that's what happened. Nothing happened. Yeah. So life is about trying. Life is about continuing to, to just keep taking steps every day towards who knows where, you know? Like you don't know where you're going most of the time. You know, and, and you might think you know where you're going. You might have a goal. You might have a destination in mind. You might have some kind of thing that you're trying to accomplish. But, you know, life gets in the way sometimes. And you have to adjust. And you got to sometimes, you know, go where life took you. Yeah, I think about that a lot. Go where life takes you, you know, and make the most of it. So that's it. Nothing on that film, nothing from nothing. Uh, it was kind of the anticipation was kind of interesting, I guess. And it was, I guess you could say it was fun. <laughs> I don't know. But that was it. There was nothing there. And um, tomorrow's another day. <laughs>